Hey guys, I said I was going to let this lettuce experiment go on for another two or three weeks and see how things turned out, but from what I'm seeing, uh, this deal is over with. Got 100% of the precincts reporting right now, and this is pretty much an open and shut case. The miracle Grow and the, the standard Triple 20 are just not suited for hydroponic growing. They're fine for putting in the soil if you want to use them outside, but in a hydroponic setting, they don't do anything near what a true hydroponic fertilizer can do, such as the Master Blend 41838. In this shot right here, you can clearly see the difference. I mean, it ain't even close between the 41838 that was in this box, a true commercial hydroponic fertilizer, and the basic miracle Grow right here. On the end here was the Jax Triple 20. A very good fertilizer for using in the soil, but you see what you get when you put it in a hydroponic setup. Very yellow leaves, got uh, very slow growth, not a good choice. Right here is the miracle Grow tomato formula. And again, you can see what kind of results you got. A little bit bigger than the Jack's Triple 20, but still not a whole lot of growth there. Let's take a closer look and see what happened with the roots up under here. This is the Master Blend. 41838 and you see the massive root growth grew together right here very very healthy looking roots in a hydroponic setup this is what you want to see nice clean white roots if you got dark roots you got a problem right here we got the base miracle grow and you can see what you got up under here these things are all brownish looking not looking good at all right here is the miracle grow tomato formula you see what the roots look like? A little bit better than the last box, but still a kind of a dingy brown color to them. Although this one does have some more white roots coming out. Uh, not what you want to see right here. And down here on the end, the Jack's Triple 20. Again, you see what you got? Really brown roots. Not a good combination. Real yellowish looking leaves. Definitely not something you want to have in the hydroponic setup. Well, that's going to conclude this experiment right here. My recommendation is absolutely do not use miracle Grow or any other conventional water-soluble fertilizer in a hydroponic setup. Keep that stuff in the soil where you got the bacteria to break down that nitrogen, and I think you'll be a lot better off. In regard to the Master Blend of 41838, uh, I had an opportunity to speak to one of the guys from Hydro Gardens. I had mentioned them out in Colorado as a source for the 41838. Their product is actually called ChemGrow. So if you contact Hydro Gardens and you're looking to buy the smaller boxes like the five pounds that they have, of whatever line of fertilizer they have as far as the formulation goes, it's going to be called ChemGrow. Basically the same fertilizer, just a different uh, manufacturer. Both of them are going to work equally well. Whatever you do, find you a true hydroponic fertilizer and you'll get a whole lot better results. Leave this stuff with the urea nitrogen for putting in the soil. One last comparison here in my right hand is the miracle Grow lettuce. This is all I could get out of it. Not much to mess with. In the left hand is the lettuce that I got from a true hydroponic fertilizer, the Master Blend 41838. And again, whether you're using the Master Blend, the Kim Grow, or the J.R. Peters, Whatever you use, as long as it's a true hydroponic fertilizer, you're probably going to be able to get results somewhere close to this right here. I don't know about y'all, but I know which one I want to grow. So I hope that was helpful. Y'all take care, and Lord willing, I'll see you next time. If you found this video to be helpful, informative, entertaining, or just downright funny, don't forget to subscribe.